Hey guys, welcome to Off the Great Wall. I'm Dan. Mike here. So me and Mike had some challenges growing up. Uh, Mike, you grew up... I grew up in the Midwest, and I grew up as probably one of the few Chinese families that lived in my town. Yeah, I grew up in Boston, and literally from first grade to sixth grade, I was like the only Chinese kid. Anyway, so guys, here's a video about some of the things that we went through while growing up. Check it out. Okay, everyone, welcome to high school. Now let's take attendance. James Anderson. Here. Jennifer Bell. Here. Oh no, he looks confused. Is it Zing? Zing? Kazing? It's Shane. Shane. I'm here. Uh, Shane? Shane. Uh, Shane. Here I am. Shane. Are you saying shame? Your name Sh is shame. Sure. Sure. Everyone, this is Dan. Where did you move from, Dan? Boston. That's great. And uh, where are you really from? What? Where are you really from? Um, China. Wonderful. We're starting a unit on China next week. Dan could be our helper. Zane? No, Shane. The X, the X is like S-H, Shane. Oh, Shane. Sure. So Dan, can you tell us about Confucianism? Uh... It says here that Confucius lived in the spring and autumn period. Is that right? Yeah, sounds right. When was that? Um, really long time ago. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Please, uh, just ask me to say it for you. Xing crossing. Is there a crossing Chen here? I I'm here. It's actually Shane. Zane? No, no. The X is like SH, so Shane. Jane. Uh, uh, Shane. Uh, uh, Zang. Uh, are you saying Jane? Sh sure. Dan, can you say something in Chinese for us? What do you want me to say? Um, how would you say my name in Chinese? Wendy. Uh, Wendy? Uh, I've never seen this one before. Uh, X? What is that? X? Uh, sorry, sorry, it's Mike. I go by Mike. Mike Chen. Oh, okay, Mike. Phew, saved that one. Uh, I met a Bob Chen at that new Chinese restaurant. Is that your dad? Yeah, it's my dad. Ah, <laughs> yeah, great egg rolls. Yeah, maybe we should go on a field trip there. Sure. And guys, of course, we're not picking on teachers. Those were actual situations that we both went through with our respective teachers. Yep. Except for the one that called me Diane. I will remember <laughs> that. <laughs> nah, nah. Remember that. She day. was a great teacher. So my Chinese wow. name is Da Ying. So right. it's D A Y I N. And the teacher would always be like, Da Da Diane. <laughs> Diana? Na? Yeah. Or like Diane for short? Well, if she said Diane Na, I would have known it was a girl's <laughs> name. But she happened to say Diane, and it stuck with me for two years until kids were like, yo, you got a girl's name. So I went two Did years. Did your parents not like you? Yeah. You got a girl's name? And plus, my parents didn't know, so that was tough. Yeah, for me, it was that fateful day in second grade. I still remember this to this day. My second grade teacher, Ms. Lei, my parents went up to her and said, Ms. Lei, do you think uh, Shane, because my name was XRNG Shane, in Chinese, you know, X is SH. Does, does she need to get an English name? And she said, no, that's fine. People are able to pronounce Shane, that's okay. Fair enough. And people weren't able to pronounce <laughs> Shane. I don't know how they could. Dude. And also, like, yeah. this is right before the, the crossing signs start yeah. popping up all over the country. So and I didn't know any better. I'm like, oh, I see my name. And then all the kids are like, hey, Shane, why is your name on the ground? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I remember when I first saw those popping up. I thought I was entering like a Chinese zone. Oh my I gosh. was like, yo, why do they have Chinese on the street? And your name happens to be Yeah, there. I was like, I'm popular. Yeah. People name streets after you. Yeah. All right, guys, let us know your stories growing up, if you had anything similar. And please don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.